simple question where today we've been asking you, do you think the True Caller application has enhanced mobile call safety? That is our Twitter poll question for today. You can tweet us at KT News. You can tweet me at Agina Abi. The hashtag to use is KTN Business. I already see quite a host of you already sending in your feedback on this poll. And uh, we shall be able to sample them just before we go for the fast break. And speaking about Trucola, well, Trucola is an app which helps users identify unknown calls and block spam calls and texts. Kenya is among the top five countries globally using the app with six million active users in the country. Here now is my colleague Malika Kazia, who had an interview with the True Caller's Director of Partnerships for Africa, Zakaria Hersey, on the app's popularity and potential for growth. True Caller, an application that lets you identify who is giving you a call, even if you don't have them saved on your phone, as well as see if you are receiving any spam calls and texts. Definitely a very pivotal application. And in studio with us today, we have Zakaria Hersey, the Director of Partnerships for Africa for True Caller. He'll be talking to us more about the application and about their strategies currently. Of course, they did launch their headquarters for the region in Nairobi, Kenya, earlier this year. Welcome, Zakaria. Good to have you. Thank you for having me. Now, we have noted that more than 50 million users use True Caller in Africa. And it's one of the most downloaded apps in the region. Now, why do you think that is, especially in comparison to other regions globally? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. So here in Africa, just it's only WhatsApp and Facebook that's more popular than Truecaller. Mm -hmm. And one of the theories, of course, is more and more people are getting into smartphones and are starting to use this, but also in emerging markets where people's first way of communicating to each other is through mobile phones. And they want to feel in a safe environment to be able to understand who's actually calling you. Uh, one thing that we actually don't understand is like, if you're sending an email and you're getting an email, imagine it just being an IP address. That's what we're trying to do with uh, the experience of using true calls to actually understand who's actually calling you and blocking spam calls. All right. Now, recent studies conducted by the company uh, say that South Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, and Egypt rank among the top 20 countries in the world being plagued by unwanted spam calls. Yeah. Why is that the case, do you think? Again, I think it's, uh, it's also the reason, the primarily way of contacting each other is telephone numbers. Telephone numbers are uh, so pri it's private, but it's also very connected to you. So here in Kenya, we block almost 14 uh, million SMSs per month. Wow. It's a lot, and 4 million calls. Uh, I think anyone who comes to Kenya, get a SIM card, probably in a day, straight away, there's an SMS saying, you know, uh, there's a loan for this, or there's a message for that, and there's scams and so on. So we notice a lot, almost 90% of all spam, is uh, financial scams. Okay, so that's definitely a big issue. Do you yeah. think that as a country we definitely need to address that? I think it's, it's very important we address that and also users and uh, consumers actually understand the impact because uh, let's say a spam call would take 30, 30 seconds. Imagine the amount of calls that a person or a Kenyan citizen or Kenyan user actually loses in a day of picking it up, not knowing, and then going through that process all over again. So in a productivity level and a, trustworthy, a trustworthiness, it's, it's something that all of uh, all the users and uh, the citizens have to actually work on. Now, speaking of uh, trustworthiness, actually women report 11% more unwanted calls than men. Yeah. Now, can you expound on whether there are security features that, uh, aside from true caller just blocking the calls, can it also be involved in the security of the people who are using it? Yeah. Uh, so again, uh, there's a huge problem with harassment, uh, especially here in Kenya. So our focus is not only helping our users, female users, to actually block it, but we also have a feature that is call recording. So they are able to record the call and provide evidence to the right type of authority. So that is a, a huge problem and hopefully we'll, we'll work closely in the market to actually address it mm -hmm. and inform uh, our users about it. Okay, now, uh, when you did launch your headquarters earlier this year, you did say that you're looking forward to bringing new, innovative and localized services and also expanding your presence, engaging with the tech ecosystem too. How far has this agenda progressed? Yeah, it's, 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 going, it's going well. Uh, in Kenya, uh, we have uh, 6 million registered users and we're growing by 
35% per year. So we work closely with a lot of SMEs. Uh, some examples are like Eat Out, that are using our uh, onboarding to verify. So they use it in within their app. So Eat Out is good at what they do as a directory to be able to get like discounts and so on. But we are good on identifying the new users and for them to onboard very quickly. Uh, and we worked with a couple of other, like Yum Delivery, and things that my focus is building uh, products that are very local. Uh, so one exciting thing that we hopefully going to launch this year is payments that we actually did already in India, and to launch payments here in in Kenya where True Color users will be able to send money to each other or pay for services, bills, and so on. So there's mobile money transfers that you're looking to expand into. Yes. Now, of course, uh, we are seeing that the proposed tax on that is going to be increasing. And uh, what are your thoughts in, when it comes to risks now of venturing into that section? Uh, again, it's an ongoing development as, yes. I, as, I, as I see it. Uh, the thing is with mobile money, what has been very good for Kenya, it's number one has put Kenya on the map and technology-wise but has also helped more people who were unbanked getting into uh, financial inclusion. And I think it's, it's going to be an impact for them and especially for Kenya to continue growing. Uh, this type of uh, you know, ongoing discussions might affect the average Kenyan citizen. And I think for us, we are focusing on a lot on helping them be included, uh, not through only payments, but also we're gonna, we are launching in a couple of countries and hopefully soon in Kenya that true color can be used on feature phones. And this is one of our exciting things because in Kenya 40% are using feature phones. So for us it's also getting into that and giving them the safe environment to communicate also. So all this is we believe in the long run that it will help more people go into middle class uh, progress within their, their economy. So. It's ongoing pro progress, and hopefully we'll, we'll see how, what the situation with the taxes will be. All right. Well, I mean, about 43 million people do use mobile money transfers in the country, so there's definitely a lot of scope for you to diversify into that particular market. But let's get back to the SMEs. Now, how exactly can you tell us, do, does Truecaller help uh, different SMEs improve their functions? Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, as a good example that, we, that I brought up earlier was like eat out. Uh, so we have 50 million registered users who are verified, who have gone through a, a verification process with us. So for, them, for these uh, SMEs, then they already have uh, you know, vetted yes. people. That's the point. Yes. Yeah, so okay. they will be, when they work together with us, they, they will be able to identify new users mm -hmm. that will be on board. So you could do with one tap of login or autofill. The same functionalities that you see login with Google or login with Facebook, but those are e email driven. Ours is mobile driven. So we want to focus on the identity part and let our SMEs focus on scaling it and growing their businesses. All right, thank you so, so much thank for joining you. us. You. There you have Zakaria Hersi talking about Truecaller and how it is aiding SMEs in the country as well as its various functions and diversifying into the Kenyan market. Of course, lots more to come. Thank you so much for joining us on Business Today. Many thanks, uh, Malika, for that interview. And in